moment there is a lot of noise, particularly around US-China trade wars and the unresolved Brexit situation. I think obviously created some nervousness in markets and, um, and I think we're sort of entering a period where we might see a bit of uh, volatility. But the question is how long does it, does it go on for and I guess what's the collateral damage. It, obviously we're starting to see GDP slow down, we're starting to see disruption in supply chains already. I guess all you can take from that is that you know on balance over time a lot of these geopolitical events tend to wash through and the fundamentals of markets tends to tend to come through. So again we have methods to protect portfolios and protect risk if there is a downturn and, and look there should in the growth part of portfolios, clients should expect markets to, to be negative once every four or five years. And certainly we expect some volatility in the coming years. But the, I guess the, the assurance you should take out of that is that that, that that risk management has been built into portfolios. You know, retreating to cash is a very expensive form of insurance. You know, you're gonna go back to 1% rates. Um, so there, we think there are better ways to manage risk. Intrinsic to what we do is a asset allocation model that's based on a client's cash flow that is essentially designed to help withstand most market fluctuations. So with the growth part of a portfolio, volatility is expected from time to time. We have this structure that means you don't necessarily have to pick time of market turning points. That being said, I guess there are things we're doing within the asset allocation framework. We do acknowledge that our long range forecasts for most risk assets are still okay. Um, probably with the exception of the US equity market, which we're, we're, te we're sort of steering away from. Other areas uh, such as fixed income or fixed interest that carries long, uh, what we would call duration or interest rate sensitivity. Um, so that's another area we think where probably the risk reward payoffs are not, not justified. We have this, what we believe is a robust overall process that should account, um, you know, cater for all markets. And then we'd also, um, use the information that we think is reliable enough to tilt the portfolios in certain ways. Look, number one tip, speak to your advisor. Your advisor is getting all the information firsthand from the investment committee, which is our central source of information. We've got two external consultants that sit on that investment committee that give us a expert and in, an impartial view of the world. Um, so that's, that's our forum to just sort of, sort of distill all the, the information and, and, and apply it to portfolios and the advisors are getting that information firsthand so hopefully none of uh, nothing that comes around the corner is, is a huge surprise.